pick a game. I'll let you lead this off. Pick a game, the game that I am most intrigued to see. You got Army, Cincy, West Virginia, OK, Oklahoma State, or Auburn, Kentucky. I'm going with West Virginia and Oklahoma State uh, for two reasons. I think I feel like West Virginia is always the team in the Big 12 that is mixing things up every single year. Like they're bound to beat one of the big dogs every year. And I feel like they're like always third or fourth place every year. And I feel like this is a game that they could sneak up on Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State, I think I've said this a couple of times on, on this stream. Nationally, they were a lot of people's darling this year just because they had – you could make the argument the best receiver and best running back coming back uh, in college football. Uh, solid week one for them. And then they had the whole COVID thing. I, I believe that's that's what happened there. But intrigued with this game. I think it's an interesting matchup because of the explosiveness that West Virginia can have. And then West Virginia's D-line, a little bit stingy, the Mountain, Mountaineers, which could be a matchup problem for, uh, for Chuba Hubbard, Oklahoma State's running back. And then – uh, last I heard, I believe, uh, what's his name? Uh, Spencer Saunders, Oklahoma State's quarterback, is banged up. Hurt. Might have to uh, start a youngster. So, little upset alert, maybe. I think the line's at like eight right now. But uh, West Virginia, I believe, I forget who's home and away. But that's a game that I have my eye on. And just the SEC ball being back. I'm not like an SEC guy, but I think that's good for college football. We talked about it on, on Tuesday that uh, – when the SEC is back, wherever you stand with them, you kind of get a different feel on Saturday. So both those games are interesting. But uh, I'm going upset alert, West Virginia, uh, Oklahoma State. Wow. I like I it. Guess, I guess I should probably uh, upset, al uh, upset alert or am I picking the upset? Is there, is there a difference? All I'm saying is just beware of that game. Hey, circle it. Beware. Uh, upset alert in the house. Uh, good, good little lineup of games and SEC back, I think is the headline. I'm excited about it. Army Cincinnati. Army's been on the up and up. They've been, uh, they've really been stacking some years in terms of their growth as a program. I know, uh, on the Academy side and Josh got an offer from Air Force, one of the academies, but Army had been kind of hanging back. It seemed like it was Navy and Air Force, and so it seems like they've really kind of stormed into the, into the picture over the last uh, two years or so. So uh, I like them to come out physical. You know, that's just that's, – that's some bully ball where, you know, you're lining up and, and you're in the trenches, right? You don't need that much of camp to kind of do that. Uh, no doubt. No doubt. And since he's always an interesting team because they – They are. As a non-power five team, they can sneak up on people as well. But uh, I like that going uh, going with Army, and I'm just excited for a full full slate of games. What's up? And uh, Army's coming out with a virtual visit on the platform as well. So I know we saw some Ooh. virtual visits. So what are their uh, do you, what are their facilities like? I mean, I will have to check out the virtual visit. But uh, can you give us a little sneak preview? Uh, you... they're, they're nice in New York, and it looks chilly. That, that's the sneak preview, but a lot of history, incredible kind of culture, uh, obviously, uh, in that institution. So uh, it'll be out in the next couple of weeks here. We'll be making announcements and whatnot. But uh, for those reasons and others, I'm picking Army. I'm going West Virginia, uh, and I'm going Auburn. All right, I'll go uh... – See, I feel bad because I just did upset a little bit. I, I, I'll, I'll go home with it. I'll go, I'll go Cincy. I'll go the other side of you. I'll go West Virginia as well. And then I will go uh, new quarterback for Auburn. I want to just go hammer down the upsets. It's not happening. Too much on the line for Auburn. I'm going with Auburn. Even though Kentucky, not as bad I as I like Kentucky. Were. No, I like Kentucky. I, I will say that. But uh, in the chat, we got opinions on Desmond Ritter. Desmond Ritter. Um, let me. Uh, Do you not know who he is? No, I'm having a brain brain fart. Because I... I have no idea who Desmond Ritter is. You stunned oh, us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Cincinnati's quarterback. Haven't really seen him. Saw him very briefly last year against uh, UCLA. But to be quite frank with whoever asked that question, I was watching uh, Dorian Thompson Robinson from UCLA on the other side. So I haven't really watched him a whole lot, to be honest. Well, you know what? We're about to. We're about to throw on some tape. Yeah. 
uh, our boy, I can't read whose handle that is, but uh, he says Dylan Gabriel, better than everyone else. Dylan Gabriel. Yeah. I should know this. Right when you said number nine, uh, I've seen some throws this guy. I've just never sat down and watched a full game, to be quite frank. Wow, he looks big. Yeah. Looks oh, look looks at that. Tall. That's against my Knights. Not against my Knights, Desmond. Not up in here. Ooh, some dual threat. Okay, okay. Hmm. That's the game oh, wow. I watched. And that's, that's the game a... that, yeah, he, he, he did some big things there. I'm not going to act like I know the ins and outs of his game, but this is a good uh, kick in the ass for me. I need to watch this kid's film, especially because since he can sneak up on some people, they beat UCLA last year. We're seeing clips from that game. And they look like they're going to be good this year. Yeah. I'm flipping. I'm going. I'm going Cincinnati over uh, Army. No, get out of here. You can't come on my side. You got. You got Army. All right. I'll take Army and I'll do it proud. Oh, run, run that clock. Who, who does he, who does he remind you of? Uh, I'm wearing out this Colin Kaepernick comparison, so I'm gonna go with someone different. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm going to go. I'll go. Uh, I hate this comp because I mentioned it last stream. He's the best college football player I ever played against, but uh, a, a poor man's Marcus Mariota. Really? Yeah. Wow. I was going to say like Logan Thomas or something. Yeah. Logan Thomas has a little bit more. Uh, He's bigger. I, that, that's, a, that's a big dude. Yeah, he, exactly. I was thinking a little bit, little bit more pocket. This guy, uh, our man here has uh, more mobility, I think. Yeah, I was thinking, I was, I was going to say like a, a lighter Logan Thomas, but kind of similar in terms of arm strength, uh, athletic, making plays, but obviously yeah, a little bigger. And I was just trying to mix it up, you know, Try, yeah. trying to throw out a, a wild card QB. Who, who else is out there? Yeah, what, a little dual threat, but then like a, on the taller side. That's, that's the big, that's the big kicker.